FastTrack is ABIM's clinical competence evaluation system, the tool the board uses to determine eligibility to sit for ABIM administered certification examinations. Signing in to FastTrack. To sign in, you will need to use the email address that was imported into FastTrack from the ACGME ads data. If you are brand new to FastTrack or your institution's email address has changed within the past year, an email will be sent alerting you that FastTrack is open along with the steps needed to sign in. For experienced FastTrack users where no changes have occurred, your login information remains the same. Once you have determined your email and password, enter these items into the appropriate fields and sign in. Submitting evaluations in FastTrack. After signing in, go to View Records to begin the review and submission of trainee evaluations process. An alphabetical listing of your trainees will display, identifying which level of training they have completed during the prior academic year. Think of FastTrack as a snapshot of the last academic year. You will access each trainee record individually. Information that is needed is identified by an exclamation point circled in red. When the evaluations for all classes are submitted each year, as required, your typical processes will include trainees who just completed their first year. These will appear in FastTrack as R1 or F1. For evaluations of first-year residents, the Profile tab requires some additional data that was not uploaded from the ads file. These are highlighted in yellow. Check name and date of birth for accuracy. Select appropriate gender and medical degree. Fill in any missing numbers in the Social Security or Social Insurance field. Email address, while not required, does expedite the trainee's ability to create their own account on the physician portal. Once the profile has been created, it will serve as their ABIM profile throughout all of their training. Training Information tab. Verify the training level and dates for accuracy. The begin and end dates of each training level default to the traditional academic year, July 1st through June 30th. Remember, this date range reflects only the year of training being evaluated. If the trainee's final level of training in the specialty is not being evaluated, select No for the final level of training question. When Yes is selected for the final year of training, the option to submit a request for deficit in training will appear in this tab. More information about time away from the program can be found in the Fast Track section of abim.org. Populate the appropriate radio button for the question regarding the training completion date. This field is very important for determining eligibility to sit for their respective exams. This is also used to identify off-cycle trainees. If the final training level is not completed by August 31st for resident evaluations and October 31st for subspecialty fellow evaluations, then the individual will not be eligible to sit for the exam that year. Evaluation tab. Because ABIM also receives the mid-year ads data, please verify that the milestone rankings accurately reflect the end-of-year submission to ads. If any trainee has a rating of unsatisfactory or conditional on improvement, explanations must be provided in the comment boxes. Comments and explanations submitted to the ACGME do not transfer into FastTrack. More details on unsatisfactory ratings and the consequences to the trainee can be found within the Fast Track section of abim.org. Submit tab. When you have completed all previous steps and no alerts remain that need to be addressed, the Submit tab will activate. Evaluation is complete and training credits are applied. When all evaluations have been submitted, only the Submitted tab will contain your trainee records. Programs do not need to enter any current first-year trainees manually. When the time comes, their data will automatically be transferred into FastTrack. Thank you for your time and dedication to your trainees by helping ABIM with this important work each summer. We appreciate the critical role you play for so many physicians early in their careers.